the Puma world order, the greatest that you will see, best that there was, that there is, or there will be. Talk a lot of trash, that he talking about is so fake. As Chris What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm, of course, CM Puma. Wherever you may be, however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. Now, put it up to a vote for you guys. We are here at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. I put it up to a vote to y'all to see if uh, what, what we wanted to do with our tag team championships. Whether, uh, where are we at here? There we are. We are the faces of fear as Taurus and Mortis. We won those tag team championships at NXT TakeOver Chicago from the Undisputed Era. Um, and the question was, do we drop them and move on to singles championships, mainly the uh, uh, North American championship here, or do we keep them and see where it goes? Since the last video, I have added the hunt here. Uh, I, I, I can't edit this. Oh, here we go. I've added the hunt with Wild Boar and Primate, and then I've also added uh, Grizzled Young Veterans with... Let me find these guys. Zach Gibson and James Drake. So they are now part of the tag team division as well. So we're not going to be facing the same people over and over again. But you guys said to keep those tag titles, see where it goes. And right now, the uh, Undisputed Era is in a rivalry with TM61. We've got Lars Ol Sullivan and Cassius Ono. Oni Larkin is facing Velveteen Dream in a no-holds-barred match for the NXT North American Championship. Velveteen Dream currently holds that title. And since these two teams are in a rivalry, the Street Profits are going to get a shot at the Tag Team Championships. Are they going to win? No. No, not at all. Pete Dunne versus Tromba has been a match going forever. NXT Women's Championship, Asuka and Kerry Sane. And then Johnny Gargano, also in a no-holds-barred match against Aleister Black. So, with all that said, let's get into the show and get into our matchup here against the Street Profits. We'll beat some butts and then come on back and see where we go. Where, I mean, because uh, Taurus hasn't been on a match card in a while. Uh, the Like I said, the main reason was uh, the main reason for asking about dropping the NXT championships was because we weren't getting on, matches, uh, on match cards. And I think it was because the tag team titles were kind of holding us back. But Undisputed Era, of course, there's four basically on two there. They get the victory. Lars Sullivan. Beats Cassiusono in a no holds barred match. Let's see. Velveteen Dream retains the championship there, and now we are gonna go into our matchup here against the Street Profits. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We are starting off as Mortis. Oh, and Dawkins gets a shot to the face, and that flip neck breaker there. Dawkins now. They're getting an opportunity here because I, I it, it looked like they were second um, in the rankings. And I think that was only because TM61 has been having some issues with Undisputed Era. I think they were ranking, uh, ranked second there. Undisputed Era is, of course, ranked first. And because of their rivalry with TM61, they lose out. Both teams lose out on the shots for these tag team titles. So um, that sucks for them, I guess. Oh, man. Angelo with a big slam there to Mortis. Kind of snuck it in. That's a, an MMA type slam. What's he doing here? Oh, he's going to bring in Montez Ford. Oh, man. He's going to put the boots to, to Mortis. So, yeah, both uh, Team 61 and Undisputed Era losing out on the titles because of their rivalry with each other. Now, I'm not quite sure why that happened because uh once we won the tag team championships at the last pay-per-view jeez louise we are getting destroyed here um once we won the tag team championships at the last nxt takeover in chicago tm61 came out to the stage and mortis and uh taurus were bringing on bring it on saying they, they were in the ring saying we welcome all challengers here so i'm not Quite sure why they started feuding with uh, uh, Undisputed Era, but whatever. That's their loss. Uh-oh. 
Did I get the reversal? No. Dang. And that... Oh, man, that's a hell of a move right there. I like that. Mortis has got to come out. He's got to get out of this ring. We, have, we haven't been able to do anything. Mortis has not been able to do anything against the Street Profits. And here we go. Taurus now coming in. And he's going to start things off. No, he looked like he was maybe going for a back body drop. And then Montez Ford, uh, excuse me, Angelo Dawkins looked like he was going for a spear. And Taurus reversed it into a DDT. Oh, big clothesline in the corner there from the official beast. Black Beast and a nice reversal there from Dawkins. Taurus rolls out of the ring. Smart move. Mortis and Taurus have not really been able to... Oops. Get, get in the ring. What are you doing? There we go. Not really been able to get things going here. Oh. Oh, flip uh, like a wasteland type move into a, a senton. And an elbow to the back of the head. No. We're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let the tag happen. Because we got we to gotta get things back in order here. Shot to the leg there. Get him up. Get him up. Right into our signature big spine buster there. Huge spine buster. Nope, sorry. Not Mortis. Referee Montez. Take him out of there. And now, now he may not stay down there very long, but that's all right. We need him to stay down just long enough to try to get this pin. Big driver right on the head. Torres goes for the pin, but right as Ford gets on the apron. Oh, dang. So close. And Mortis, nice suplex there. Uh-oh. Reversal from Dawkins. And a nice reversal there from Torres. And now look, what's Torres doing here? Shooting his, oh gosh, wrecking, wrecking Dawkins there into the corner. Oh, and a kick to the face. Uh-oh, Dawkins is busted open. And he's got his finisher, but we don't care. Throw him down like a sack of potatoes. Going up to the second rope. Big senton bomb. Here we go. Here we go. We got we got to t take advantage with Ford on the outside. Up. Big power slam. And we're going to go again. Here we go. Here we go. Ford is back up, though. So that could... Oh, and he reversed us. Dawkins reversed our signature there. Oh, he missed. He missed. I don't actually know what his signature is. So we might have some difficulty here with reversing it. Uh, no. If we can get our finisher and drop the tag team finisher on uh, Mortis here. we I edited the moves, too, so we've got some real... Um, Tag team moves here. Boot to the side of the head. Here comes, oh my gosh, elbow right across the throat. We have cornered Angelo Dawkins here. And a gut buster. A gut buster. We are not going to let you tag. Not at all. Not at all. It can't, it can't be done. Kick to the midsection. Now look at Mortis. A big sunset flip. Nice job there. It's signature time. Here we go. Mortis has got him way up and in the electric chair. Face drop. My goodness. Oh, I, I did it wrong. Here we go. Here we go. Can we get this finisher as a tag team? Tag finisher. No, he reversed it. Dawkins reversed the finisher and we treat him with a big clothesline. We're gonna get him back into this corner here. Get the double team on him, my goodness. Here we go. And got him up and do a sidewalk slam. Big knee to the, or foot to the face. And Dawkins getting turned, flipped inside out here. Nice reversal there. Blocks the elbow. I'm not gonna let that happen and drops him down into a senton. Very nice. 
We're going to try to get this uh, tag team finisher. Oh, no. Not what I meant to do. Boom. Nice. We got it. We, we've won this matchup. Get the victory here. One, two, three. Faces of fear with the victory at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn over the Street Profits. And we retain those tag team championships. I also went in and edited the entrances, which, of course, we never see, but the winning animation as well. Mortis bringing over the tag titles. And the man beast. Look at that dude. Looking like Zul from Ghostbusters, for crying out loud. Your tag team champions, the faces of fear. Moving right along here. We're going to simulate this matchup. Pete Dunne gets the victory there. I believe Carrie Sane here is the women's champion. She is going to hang on to that title. And Aleister Black is the NXT champion. In a no-holds-barred matchup, Aleister Black wins again. So, there you have it. I, it looks like all titles were were held onto this week or at this pay per view. So good on those people. Here we go. We'll take a look at the news. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly won their match, uh, ending with a vicious beatdown. That's not surprising. Okay, that is not surprising at all. Our Sullivan won against Cash Stone. The crowd was disappointed at the outcome, feeling that he shouldn't have won after the links. He went in the prior weeks prior to tonight. Interesting. And Aleister Black came out and has defended his NXT Championship. So there we go with that. Interesting, interesting. Moving right along here. We'll head into NXT and see where we're at. Let's get it fast forwarded here. We'll check the news. Oh, look at that. I saw some new rivalries. News. Let's see. Frustrations building between Triple H and Strowman. Yeah, the B team and those guys. Seth... They're dealing over the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Finn Balor and Brock are having issues. The Bludgeon Brothers. Oh, they're unraveling. Uh-oh. And then Becky and Charlotte, of course. Randy Orton uh, blindsiding uh, Andrade. He is the United States Champion. But I saw some new rivalries here on Wednesday night. Right here, Trey Jeter looks like he's going to get his shot at uh, the Velveteen Dream. That is interesting to see. Let's see if we are on the match card tonight. We are not. So, we will... You know what? We'll just skip. We'll go back and check it out. I don't know if actually we can see who won those matches. I guess it really doesn't matter because we're not, you know, we're not in those matches. So, we saw these... All right, Fish cemented his victory and attacked Shane Thorne. Johnny Gargano called out the champ. And the Velveteen Dream got his revenge against Trey Jeter. Uh, I got th there you go. The Velveteen Dream looks to have turned face. Drew Gulak, that's on 205. The medical staff is concerned over No Way Jose's health after his injury was the focus of a heinous assault by Goldust. Interesting. That man, we don't care about these guys. And Randy Orton assaulted Andrade again. What's new? What's new? All right. Moving right along here. We are not on this thing again. Now, that doesn't make any sense to me. That makes no sense. But we're going to keep on trucking. We're not even going to look. We're going to head over to SummerSlam. I know we're not on this pay-per-view, of course, but... Let's, uh, we're going to start the show, and then we'll just simulate. We'll just see how it goes. All right. So here we go. We've got Andrade, who is the champion, taking on Randy Orton. And Andrade retains the championships there. We've got the B team versus Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. I want to say the B team is the ch are the tag t t champions. Okay. Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy, your Raw champion, uh, tag team champions. you got Dolph Ziggler with Drew McIntyre. Taking on Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. And Seth Rollins hangs on to the championship there. These guys are apparently unraveling. And the Good Brothers there get the victory. Becky and Charlotte for the Women's Championship. Becky gets the title. And look how, oh my gosh, look at that. It pushed Charlotte all the way down to seventh. My goodness. 
Interesting. Roman Reigns and John Cena for the Universal Championship. I want to say Roman uh, uh, John Cena is the champion. He retains that championship and pushes uh, Roman down to number five. And then at a fatal four-way match for the World Heavyweight Championship, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Rusev, and Daniel Bryan. I think AJ Styles is the champion right now. And now Rusev is your World Heavyweight Champion. Interesting. 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 I like that. I like that. All right, we are moving right along here. We're going to go right to Smack... Or, I'm sorry, to uh, NXT. Fast forward a couple of weeks here. 25, 28, 33. Wow, that's a lot of unread news. Crap. Oh, crap. I skipped an entire month. Crap. Shit. <laughs> Holy crap, I, I skipped an entire month. Well, damn. That was unintentional. Sheesh. So, Aleister Black's still the champion there. More. Boy, I thought that was something else. We're still the NXT Tag Team Champions. Kerry Sane's still the champ there, and Velveteen Dream's still the champ. So, the championships haven't changed. Man, I can't believe I just did that. Samoa Joe has won the championship um, away from Rusev. They're still the champions. Becky won her title match. Andrade retained. Man, I can't... <laughs> Surely... Did I? October? I guess I did. Shoot. I can't believe that. Our next pay-per-view is not until January. Man, I can't believe I did that. Let's see if we're on the card at all. We are not. Dang. We'll just skip until we are on the card. I know this video is getting long. We'll see here. Trey Jeter and Chris Falcone getting all the, all the stuff here. See... That's why I was I was curious about the tag team championships. It's really holding us back. It's holding us back from moving uh, forward in getting any matches here. Potential rivalry with Lars Sullivan and Tromba. So we'll get to see Tromba for the first time. That's interesting. That is interesting. Now, the news, good grief. Velveteen Dream has had enough of his rival, taking out his frustrations and anger. Nothing about us. Called out his former enemy of the ring. Lars Sullivan responded and had a heated exchange. They want a, uh, a, Lars Sullivan wants a title match. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, in the next video, we are in a tag team matchup against Lars Sullivan and Tromba, and we'll see how that goes, but... In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Um, let me know how you're liking the series, where we should go, and when do you think we should move up to um, uh, in, uh, SmackDown. I'm thinking maybe after WrestleMania, if any, no, if nothing has changed and we're still the tag team champions, um, maybe after WrestleMania we will move up, or we'll at least drop the titles and see what... Uh, the tag team championships and see where we go from there so thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not and come on back where we finally get a match after i've accidentally skipped an entire month <laughs>